G'day troopers. Another beautiful day in far north Queensland, Cairns. Today's ride is to a little secluded beach. It's about 25, 30 k's north of Smithfield. Smithfield being our starting point. It contains, apart from the beautiful sand and beach, it contains a little shrine to a young woman that got murdered here, or got murdered at Wangati Beach, maybe a year and a half ago. She was out walking a dog when she got attacked. I believe she got raped and murdered. The suspect fled the country and uh, Aussie police are having issues with ex extraditing him from wherever he might be. It's a very sad story. Made big news here in Cairns. There was a whole lot of campaigns to catch whoever did this terrible crime. At this beach we're going to, they build a little shrine to remember this young woman whose name was Toya. That's where we're going to be today. And what we're going to be doing is um, trying beetle nut or buoy as it's known in Papua New Guinea. Buoy or beetle nut is a mild intoxicant. It's not a controlled substance in Australia, even though it probably should be. Its effects are similar to kava or a mild, mild feeling of being stoned from marijuana, which obviously I've never tried, I've just been told of its effects. What it does, you chew it, and what it does is um, yeah, it gives you a little small feeling of euphoria, it relaxes you, makes you a little bit more chatty. It also colours your mouth red, stains your teeth, rots your gums and all those wonderful things. So let's go for a ride. I think we're going to run out of road, forget it. That's one thing I do nowadays, I'm a careful rider. I've lost a lot of the merit points when I have the fire blade. And the other thing is, I'm getting older, I just don't have the balls anymore to go like crazy. Let the younger guys kill, kill themselves, I'll just put along on my old Yamaha Virago. I don't think the motorcycle will kill me, it will be something else like my long stand standing love affair with cigarettes and alcohol. That's one good thing about riding bikes, I can't smoke while I'm riding and I certainly never, accident, never drink and ride. That would be just stupid. I think we might be coming up. Uh, yes, this is it. This is it. Oh, I missed the turn off. Damn it. I'll do a UE. Okay, hang on. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's a little shrine there. Whoa! And this is the shrine the community will never give up. Poor young woman murdered, alive, cut short, forever Toya, Aussie flag, sunflowers, really sad story, really sad story, I'm sorry for you Toya, hopefully you're resting in peace, and the arsehole that did this to you, hate. One thing I've learnt about parking on sand, put a stone under your side stand. And here we are. Check this out. Pretty good, eh? I think it's high tide. Yeah, I can hear it. The rocks, the pebbles. Look at this. Can you hear it? Can you hear the rocks? Beautiful far north Queensland. That's the rocks.
Okay, so what we've got here, what we've got here is the beetle nut, you husk it, you eat the meat out of the beetle nut, like that. So you eat the inside part of it. Okay, this is the, the meat itself. You start chewing that. It doesn't taste good. But if you want to get high on betel nut, that's what you gotta do. Mustard. Mustard. You add the saliva, you gotta spit out, which makes it not ideal for Australia. <laughs> Bengi women used to sell this stuff at Rusty's Market in Heads. They got banned because they started spitting everywhere. On the ground or into plastic bags. So that shit's finished. If you want to buy this stuff, you still go on Gumtree. And people will sell you some of this stuff. For $10, you get seven beetle nut and three sticks of mustard. The lime, you have to find yourself. Lime they used to make out of crushed, Coral. burnt shells. I just get industrial lime, I think it's the same thing. Coral. Coral, okay. Mix it together. Say that. We've got the bush knife, true PNG fashion. The PNG bush knife. Good for coconuts, self defense, weeding, cutting grass, the whole lot. Ready? Cut this out. Check this out. <laughs> Fucking disgusting, eh? Yeah. And look at this. Well, spit it's red. The thing about beetle nut, a boy, it's chewed in PNG everywhere. So wherever you go, there's red stains, like on the roads, inside public buildings, toilets, buses, treat, absolutely everywhere. It's just part of the culture. What it does do though is makes you more relaxed, makes you more chatty, yeah. gives you a certain sort of like stoned feel or maybe like a feeling after consuming kava. It's certainly not regulated in Australia, you can actually buy it and get mildly tipsy on it. I wouldn't recommend operating machinery after it, afterwards. The high lasts maybe half an hour. I'm definitely feeling it now. My, I can feel my face getting a little bit warm. I'm sweating a little bit. Bit of a head spin. I'll have a smoke and that's going to kick my ass. I really got to give up cigarettes. They're killing me. Anyway, getting back to the story about Toya. She got murdered at Wangeti Beach, which is another... Alright, okay. You should be able to see it. Rex's lookout will be on top. There's a lot of um, hang gliders that jump off the edge there and they actually land on Wangeti Beach, which is a quite a wide beach, a lot wider than this one. Absolutely senseless. Young woman getting murdered. She was walking her dog. Yeah, she was walking her dog, yeah. It makes you sort of wonder, you know, like what, what it's all about, because how can you cut a, sh a life short like that and the arsehole that did it ran away and is enjoying some 
his life in an ashram somewhere in India. It doesn't seem fair you'd think that it all gets evened out on the other side. just stood up. Bit of a head spin, a head rush. Whew. But that will wear off. Half an hour I'll be fine again. Another thing I've got to mention, because normally we do these rides with lunching, what I forgot to mention is that buoy or betel nut suppresses hunger. No need to have lunch, this is our lunch. Lovely. Par KL. This woman talks. She talks a lot. A few hours later. And that's the day that it was, troopers. Until next time. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're going back. There's some campers there. Great. Goodbye, young Toya. What a shit story. And back on the freeway, we go. There's a bonus, because everyone wants a bonus. We'll stop at those piles of rocks on the way back to Cairns. They look quite nice. I think they're just here. Alright, let's have a look and see. No one behind us, slow down on the bitumen, easy on the gravel. Alright, let's have a look. Check this out. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Nice.